Hello, I'm Cheris. And I'm Nicole. And we are Oncology Dietitians at El Camino Health's Cancer Center. Today we're going to be talking about cancer and sugar. The belief that sugar feeds cancer is a widespread concern among those with a cancer diagnosis. And this concern may be related to a radiographic test called a PET scan. A PET scan uses a small amount of radioactive tracer, which is a form of glucose. All tissues in your body absorb some of this tracer, and the hyperactive cancer cells absorb greater amounts and light up. And for this reason, some conclude and fear that cancer cells grow faster when sugar is consumed. Let's look at the term sugar. Most people think of white table sugar. There are many different types of sugar, and that's what makes answering this question a bit more complicated. The cells in your body do use glucose from any sugar or carbohydrate and from a process called gluconeogenesis, or making sugar from non-carbohydrate foods for fuel. We're not able to pick and choose which cells get which nutrients for fuel, and avoiding sugar in the broadest sense can leave your healthy cells low on energy. Take a look at the Cancer Healthy Plate, also known as the New American Plate. The vegetables, whole grains, fruits, and even the dairy products such as yogurt are all sources of carbohydrate or sugar when broken down. They represent natural sugars, namely fructose and fruit, lactose and milk products, and complex carbohydrates and grains, which are chains of sugar linked together. These same food groups are packed with cancer-fighting properties in the form of phytonutrients and fiber. They are also major sources of vitamins and minerals. All of these carbohydrate foods help fight cancer. They do not feed cancer. On the other hand, added sugars have calories but do not provide nutrients and have no cancer-fighting abilities. Added sugars include white sugar, brown sugar, agave nectar, honey, coconut sugar, and high fructose corn syrup. The average person consumes 17 teaspoons of added sugar daily. This adds up to almost 300 calories to your daily intake and can lead to weight gain over time. Obesity and being overweight are risk factors for 13 types of cancers. Studies show a dietary pattern routinely high in added sugars affects levels of insulin and related hormones in ways that may increase the risk of certain cancers. Fuel your body with helpful nutrients that fight cancer, like whole grain complex carbohydrates and natural sugars found in whole foods like fruits, vegetables, and unsweetened dairy. Do not fill up on foods loaded with added sugars that do not help your body to fight cancer. To learn more about added sugars, watch our video on added sugars.